This question is about moment of inertia and parallel axis theory. In this question, the cross-sectional area of a beam shown, which consists of three W310 by 23.8 white flange shape and two steel plate put on top and bottom. Each plate has a thickness of 20 mm and the length of 412 mm. We are to determine the moment of inertia with respect to x and y axis passing through the centroid of the cross section. First, we need to find out the properties of profile W310 by 23.8 from the table. We get the following data. The area of the profile is 3040 millimeter square. The depth D or the height of the profile D is given 305 millimeter. The thickness of the flange TF is given 6.73 millimeter and its length BF is given 101 millimeter. The thickness of the web TW also listed as 5.5 9 mm and the moment of inertia with respect to x axis from the table is 42.9 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter to the power of 4 also moment of inertia with respect to y axis is given equal to 1.17 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter to the power of 4 we need now to find out the moment of inertia of the cross section of the beam with respect to x, y, x. First, let's call the horizontal white flange shape A, the two vertical ones B, the plates P. Obviously, the moment of inertia of entire cross section with respect to x axis is equal to moment of inertia with respect to x axis of profile A plus moment of inertia with respect to x axis of profile B. We have two of them, so this quantity must be multiplied by two plus moment of inertia with respect to x axis of the plate. Two of them must be multiplied by we are going to determine each term separately. First, the moment of inertia with respect to x-axis of profile A is the same as the moment of inertia with respect to y-axis in the table since the profile being turned around and it's given equal to 1.17 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter to the power of 4. The moment of inertia with respect to x-axis of white flange B or profile B is the same as moment of inertia with respect to x-axis of the table given 42.9 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter to the power of 4. Finally, we need to calculate moment of inertia of each plate with respect to x-axis. In this case, we see that the centroid of the plate and the centroid of the cross section not the same. If we draw a horizontal axis passing through the centroid of the plate, call it x prime, we can see there is a distance between x and x prime and we shall call that dx. According to parallel axis theory, the moment of inertia of each plate with respect to x-axis become equal to moment of inertia of each plate with respect to x prime axis plus area multiplied by distance square, in this case dx square, equal to 112 of base, which is 412 millimeter multiplied by height to the power of 3 in this case is thickness of 20 millimeter to the power of 3 plus the area 412 millimeter 
times 20 millimeter multiplied by dx. However, dx is, is half a height of white flange profile, which is 305 millimeter divided by 2 plus half a thickness of the plate, 10 millimeter. The whole quantity must be to the power of 2. Simplifying this equation, we get the moment of inertia with respect to x-axis of each plate to be equal to 217.86 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter to the power of 4. Now that we have all three quantities, we can substitute them in equation 1 and we get the moment of inertia with respect to x-axis of the cross section to be equal to moment of inertia of the part A with respect to x-axis 1.17 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter to the power of 4 plus moment of inertia of each profile B2 multiplied by 42.9 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter to the power of 4. Finally, the moment of inertia of each plate, and we have two of them, which we calculated to be 217.86 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter to the power of 4. The entire equation has unit of millimeter to the power of 4 and the net result become Ix equal to 522.7 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter to the power of 4. Next, we need to calculate the moment of inertia with respect to y-axis. Again, the horizontal profile, let's call it A, the two vertical one B and plates P and P. This time, the moment of inertia with respect to y-axis of entire cross-section is equal to the moment of inertia of profile A with respect to y-axis plus moment of inertia with respect to y-axis of profile B, and we have two of them, plus moment of inertia with respect to y-axis of the plate and we have two of them as well. As before, we are going to calculate each term separately. The moment of inertia with respect to y-axis of white flange A is the same as moment of inertia with respect to x-axis in the table which was given 42.9 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter to the power of 4. Next, we need to calculate the moment of inertia with respect to y-axis of profile B. Again, we can see that the centroid of profile B and the centroid of the cross-section are at different locations. And if this time we draw a line parallel to y-axis and call it y prime, there is a distance between these two, between, there is a distance between y and y prime axis, and this time we call it dy. We can see that dy is equal to half a height of profile A, 305 divided by 2, plus half a thickness of the web given 5.59 divided by 2 for a total of 155.3 mm. To calculate the moment of inertia of profile B with respect to y-axis, we need to use parallel axis theorem, which is equal to moment of inertia of profile B with respect to Y prime axis plus area of the profile multiplied by D to the power of 2, in this case dy to the power of 2. We can see that the moment of inertia of profile B with respect to y axis become equal to i y prime is given in the table equal to 1.17 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter to the power of 4 
plus the area of the profile 3040 millimeter square multiplied by the distance dy square or 155.3 millimeter to the power of 2 for a total of 74.49 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter to the power of 4. Next, we need to calculate the moment of inertia of each plate with respect to y-axis. In this case, the centroid of plates are on the y-axis. Therefore, it is not required to use parallel axis theory and simply the moment of inertia becomes 112 of base time height cubing according to the moment of inertia of a rectangular shape where base become the thickness of the plate or 20 millimeter and the height of the plate become length or 412 millimeter to the power of 3 for a total of 0.283 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter to the power of 4. Now substituting all these three numbers in equation 2, moment of inertia with respect to y-axis of entire cross-section become equal to the moment of inertia with respect to y-axis of A or 42.9 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter to the power of 4 plus moment of inertia with respect to y-axis of each profile B and we have two of them each one was 74.49 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter to the power of 4 and finally the moment of inertia of each plate with respect to the y-axis which is 0.283 times 10 to the power of 6 and we have two of them as well. The entire formula has the unit of a millimeter to the power of 4. Adding all this quantity, we will find the moment of inertia of the cross section with respect to y axis to be equal to 192.4 times 10 to the power of 6 millimeter to the power of 4. And the questions being answered.